Welcome aboard. It's the flip side. I feel fantastic. This is always a, a wonderful moment. Uh, uh, Kelly, our, our wonderful makeup artist, she's putting the makeup on, and this is what she literally, she goes, eh. <laughs> people should be able to say whatever they want, even if other people don't like it. That's, that's the main point. That's how it's supposed to work. That's uh, the speech that's protected by the First Amendment, the bad speech. Now, are going to... Are, are, are bad people going to say stupid, awful things? Yes, that's, that's the price you pay for freedom of speech. Every once in a while, you have to listen to a complete and total moron. <laughs> Speaking of morons, uh, Michael Moore is in the headlines. <laughs> See, here's what happened. Clint Eastwood made this movie uh, called American Sniper, and then, and then Michael Moore came out, and he's like, snipers are cowards, which is pretty stupid, all right? I don't see how you call a, a sniper a coward. They get dropped behind enemy lines. People are trying to kill them. They're sneaking around. They're trying to shoot the most dangerous and bloodthirsty criminals on the face of the planet. If that's cowardly, I don't know what bravery is. What's Michael Moore consider brave? Like, I've only got one coupon for the buffet. <laughs> I'm going in. Should the sniper just wa walk up to like a terrorist house and go, hey, uh, you guys, just so you know, uh, I'm a sniper, and you're a bad guy, so I'm gonna be over on that building over there, and you're gonna come out, and I'm gonna be pow, so whoa, you know, just a heads up, just for the honorable thing. No, that's not the way it works, okay? Because it's war. Americans are really good at that. America, we used to be great at fighting dirty. That's why we have a country. Snipers, okay? We couldn't beat the British in a fair fight. The British had a very, very specific way they wanted to fight wars. Like, okay, here's how it's going to be. First of all, do you have an army? You need an army. And we're like a bunch of hillbillies. No, we got some dudes that can shoot a squirrel from about 100 yards. Okay, well, if you're gonna do this, you really need an army. Get some uniforms, we'll wait. Um, but uh, we're all gonna be wearing red, just so you know, so you don't clash. So pick your own colors, do whatever you want. We're gonna stand in a big straight line. It's gonna be awesome, giant black hats. We're gonna look like Sharpies coming at you. <laughs> There's gonna be a kid on a flute, doo -doo -doo -doo, just knocking it out old school. And there'll be cannon fire. We couldn't beat them. So what we did uh, is we hid up in trees. We were snipers, bang, shoot the officers and run like blazes, you know? I got me one, run, run like a squirrel that's rabid. <laughs> And that's why we have a country, and the British had to be very upset. This had to be a real bummer for them. Like, all right, we're in a line. Let's go. What are they doing in the trees? <laughs> What's that hat he's wearing? Does he have a squirrel on his head? <laughs> Let's see. I think he's going to snipe us. That's no bad form. That's a pack. You shot Reggie. <laughs> but you shot me. All right, now it's really on. <laughs> and that's why we have a country for snipers, and I don't see now why we're all like, oh, sniping, that's bad, that's cowardly. No, it's a, we're, we're fighting dudes with IEDs, they're doing anything. I'm surprised we're not fighting dirtier. So hey, as much as I disagree with what Michael Moore thinks about snipers, does he have the right to say it? Yes, absolutely. I don't wanna have Michael Moore censored, let him do it. I don't wanna pass some unconstitutional law trying to shut him up. I might try to pass a law to make him say this kind of stuff in front of snipers, just because that would be fun, <laughs> right? Michael Moore in a room full of snipers, you're all cowards! Wow. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding, you guys are awesome, put the guns down. <laughs> it's the movie that he doesn't like, let's just be honest. And, and not because it's a bad movie, it's just because it's not anti-American. And it didn't show this dude, Chris Kyle, as some gun-toting zealot who just killed people for fun and sport. He wants movies about war to be not just anti-war, but anti-military and, and, and anti-American. There's comedians and speakers all over the world getting arrested and killed for whatever their government wants to call hate speech. That should never happen here. This is America, the greatest country in the world, a country where we have the right to talk like morons if we feel like it. <laughs> so now, yes, I can say this. It's the flip side. We got a great show for you. Thanks for sticking around.